Hello, my name is Marcus. I'm the Vice President of the Edmund Amateur Radio Society. The Ears, or Edmund Amateur Radio Society is inviting the public to visit us on our largest event of the year, the National Amateur Radio League's Field Day event. Everyone is welcome to visit and see how amateur radio can be used today at home, on the road, off-road, on a motorcycle, bicycle, or through orbiting satellites. Also, both scouting organizations, Boy and Girl Scouts, offer an amateur radio merit badge, and I believe to qualify for that merit badge, they, uh, the kids must make radio contact, and we will have a radio with a tutor there to help them get that done on field day. If you're wondering how young, um, we have had kids as young as nine pass the entry-level exam, and that is not uncommon. So come on down, have a look at amateur radio today. Sit down and make a few contacts if you'd like to, or just have a look around. For this field day of 2016, we will have three full-time active contest stations operating with voice in digital modes and even Morse code emission modes. The digital station will also perform as a satellite radio station when the satellites are overhead. On the screen in front of us here, we're showing one of the digital modes now. It's a little waterfall showing the data coming in. Um, there will also be a solar powered radio there as well. If you already have a technician license and a handheld radio but you don't know what to do next, come visit us. We'll, we'll get, help you get started. If your license is expired and you want to get back into radio, come visit us at Field Day. If someone in your family was a ham radio operator and you would just like to know what it's all about, come visit us and we'll let you see what we do. Um, we also serve the city of Edmond uh, with many volunteers for different events and we help with the Oklahoma City Memorial Marathon. But again, you don't need a license to get on the air during the field day events, so if you're wondering what it's all about and how it can be fun to you, please come by and visit us and see what things might interest you. Come by for just 10 minutes or come by for all afternoon. We love to have visitors of all ages. You'll also find that we have a variety of backgrounds with a love for amateur radio as a hobby that brings us together. We have professionals from attorneys to zoologists. We have the entire alphabet of backgrounds. There are about 710,000 amateur radio operators in the U.S. and approximately 3 million worldwide. Amateur radio is like everything else. It's not your grandpa's radio anymore. We have everything from low-tech to very high-tech, cutting-edge emission modes that can communicate around the world with very little power. If you think cell phones are cool, you might want to see what you can do without the cell phone infrastructure and with just a radio and a piece of wire and maybe a computer or a tablet. As proof of that, right over here, we have spotters who are showing... Uh, people that they are hearing on the radio that they have made contact with and this is a live spot feed and the modes that they're using uh, so at the top there we see the Ukraine, European Russia, Brazil, Samoa and uh, India, Northern Ireland um, so there's a lot of activity going on right now back over here to the digital modes. Um, there we go. Uh, we're not selling anything. Uh, we're just hobbyists and this is the one time a year that we invite the public to come and see what we're about and it's our biggest event of the year. Uh, during field day, we, this field day of 2016 in Edmond, Oklahoma, we will be at the Edmond Fire Training Center at I-35 and Covell Road. So if I go and open up Google Maps, here's Covell Road, here's I-35. We're going to be at the fire station that is right there, Fire Station 5. We will arrive Saturday morning, June 25th, and we will be there for 24 hours. The race starts at 1 o'clock. And we're going to arrive around 8 a.m. to start unloading gear and get set up. And then at 1 o'clock the race starts and we will be there until the race ends Sunday at 1 p.m. Central Time. Um, this is a North America and Canada contest. It starts, as I said, at 1 p.m. on Saturday. And it's a 24-hour event. So what, if you're working on Saturday and you get off work in the middle of the night, we're going to be there. And you can come see us. 
Um, our website, if you'd like more information, is www.k5eok.org. That's www.k5eok.org. You can also find us on Facebook um, under the name Edmund Amateur Radio Society. We hope to see you there. And um, as we say at the end of our amateur radio conversations, 73.